Biden pushes party unity as he resists calls to step aside, says he'll return to campaign next week. A rapidly growing chorus of Democratic lawmakers called Friday for President Joe Biden to drop his re-election bid. Even as the president insisted he's ready to return to the campaign trail next week to counter what he called a dark vision laid out by Republican Donald Trump. As more Democratic members of Congress urged him to drop out, bringing the total since his disastrous debate against Trump to nearly three dozen, Biden remained isolated at his beach house in Delaware after being diagnosed with COVID-19. The president, who has insisted he can beat Trump, was huddling with family and relying on a few longtime aides as he resisted efforts to shove him aside. Late Friday, Ohio Sen. Sherrod Brown, a Democrat who is in a tough race for re-election, called for Biden to step aside. Brown said in a statement that he agrees with the many Ohioans who have reached out to him. I think the president should end his campaign, he said. And in a statement later Friday, Rep. Morgan McGarvey, Democrat Kentucky, also called on Biden to drop out while saying, there is no joy in the recognition he should not be our nominee in November. But the stakes of this election are too high. Biden said Trump's acceptance speech at the Republican National Convention showcased a dark vision for the future. The president. Seeking to move the political conversation away from his fate and onto his rival's agenda. Said Friday he was planning to return to the campaign trail next week and insisted he has a path to victory over Trump, despite the worries of some of his party's most eminent members. Together, as a party and as a country, we can and will defeat him at the ballot box, Biden said. The stakes are high, and the choice is clear. Together, we will win. Earlier in the day, his campaign chair, Jen O'Malley Dillian, acknowledged a slippage in support for the president but insisted he's absolutely remaining in the race and the campaign sees multiple paths to beating Trump. We have a lot of work to do to reassure the American people that, yes, he's old, but he can win, she told MSNBC's The Morning Joe show. She said voters concerned about Biden's fitness to lead aren't switching to vote for Trump. Meanwhile, the Democratic National Committee's rulemaking arm held a meeting Friday, pressing ahead with plans for a virtual roll call before August 7 to nominate the presidential pick. Ahead of the party's convention later in the month in Chicago. President Biden deserves the respect to have important family conversations with members of the caucus and colleagues in the House and Senate and Democratic leadership and not be battling leaks and press statements, Sun Chris Coons of Delaware. Biden's closest friend in Congress and his campaign co-chair, told the Associated Press. It's a pivotal few days for the president and his party, Trump has wrapped up an enthusiastic Republican National Convention in Milwaukee on Thursday. And Democrats, racing time, are considering the extraordinary possibility of Biden stepping aside for a new presidential nominee before their own convention. Among the Democrats expressing worries to allies about Biden's chances were former President Barack Obama and Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi, who has privately told Biden the party could lose the ability to seize control of the House if he doesn't step aside. New Mexico San Martin Heinrich called on Biden to exit the race, making him the third Senate Democrat to do so. By passing the torch, he would secure his legacy as one of our nation's greatest leaders and allow us to unite behind a candidate who can best defeat Donald Trump and safeguard the future of our democracy, said Heinrich. Who's up for re-election? And Reps Jared Huffman, Mark Vesey, Chewy Garcia and Mark Pokin, representing a wide swath of the caucus, together called on Biden to step aside. We must defeat Donald Trump to save our democracy, they wrote. Separately. Rep. Sean Caston of Illinois wrote in an op-ed that with a heavy heart and much personal reflection, he, too, was calling on Biden to pass the torch to a new generation. Campaign officials said Biden was even more committed to staying in the race. And senior West Wing aides have had no internal discussions or conversations with the president about dropping out. On Friday, Biden picked up a key endorsement from the political arm of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus. CHC Bold Pack said the Biden administration has shown unwavering commitment to Latinos and the stakes couldn't be higher in this election. But there is also time to reconsider. Biden has been told the campaign is having trouble raising money, 
and key Democrats see an opportunity as he is away from the campaign for a few days to encourage his exit. Among his cabinet, some are resigned to the likelihood of him losing in November. The reporting in this story is based in part on information from almost a dozen people who insisted on anonymity to discuss sensitive private deliberations. The Washington Post first reported on Obama's involvement. Biden, 81, tested positive for COVID-19 while traveling in Las Vegas earlier this week and experienced mild symptoms including general malaise from the infection, the White House said. White House Dr. Kevin O'Connor said Friday that the president still had a dry cough and hoarseness, but that his COVID symptoms had improved. Biden noted his illness while making a joke about Trump on social media Friday night, posting, I'm stuck at home with COVID, so I had the distinct misfortune of watching Donald Trump's speech to the RNC. What the hell was he talking about? In Congress, Democratic lawmakers have begun having private conversations about lining up behind Harris as an alternative. One lawmaker said Biden's own advisors are unable to reach a unanimous recommendation about what he should do. More in Congress are considering joining the others who have called for Biden to drop out. Some prefer an open process for choosing a new presidential nominee. It's clear the issue won't go away, said Vermont's and Peter Welch, the other Senate Democrat who has publicly said Biden should exit the race. Welch said the current state of party angst, with lawmakers panicking and donors revolting, was not sustainable. However, Influential Democrats including Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and House Democratic Leader Hakeem Jeffries are sending signals of concern. There is of course work to be done, and that in fact is the case because we are an evenly divided country, Jeffries said in an interview on Nike Radio Friday. But he also said, the ticket that exists right now is the ticket that we can win on. It's his decision to make. To be sure. Many want Biden to stay in the race. But among Democrats nationwide, nearly two-thirds say Biden should step aside and let his party nominate a different candidate, according to an AP Nork Center for Public Affairs research poll. That sharply undercuts Biden's post-debate claim that average Democrats are still with him. Amid the turmoil, a majority of Democrats think Vice President Kamala Harris would make a good president herself. A poll from the AP Nork Center for Public Affairs Research found that about 6 in 10 Democrats believe Harris would do a good job in the top slot. About 2 in 10 Democrats don't believe she would, and another 2 in 10 say they don't know enough to say 